So we say, le gusta el baloncesto, but we would usually say, a él le gusta. A él, a él le gusta el baloncesto. Okay? That's something very uh, special from this verb, the verb gustar. We usually say, a mí me gusta, a ti te gusta, a él le gusta. Okay? It it's, would be like saying in English, to me, I, I myself like. To him, he himself likes. To you, you, your, you yourself like. Okay, that's how the how the structure of the sentences using this verb uh, is built. Okay, it's a bit awkward, but it's it's that way how, how it's used. Okay, and it becomes actually intuitive when you learn it. So, a él le gusta el baloncesto means. He likes basketball, okay? So, we would ask now, um, does he play well? Let me erase here. So, we would ask, does he play well? Does he play well? Remember, in Spanish, there is no uh, transformation of the structure of a sentence when we want to ask in it, when we want to, to, to build a question sentence, okay? We do not need an auxiliary verb like in English. Does he like, okay? So, in English we say, he likes, sorry, in English we would say, he plays well. Does he play well? You see, we, we modify the order of the of the words right in English plus we add we have to use an auxiliary verb okay in Spanish we do not change at all the structure of the of the sentence we just add the question marks right if it is a question and perhaps we can also add the question words que como cuando por qué right the famous question words why who okay so if I if I want to ask um, does he play well? It would be the same structure as if I said he plays well. Right? So, él, él juega bien. Él juega bien. He plays well. Right? Él juega bien. If I omitted the question marks, I would be saying, él juega bien, he plays well, right? Actually, we would usually, sorry, él would, should have a tilde there, okay? Because the tilde indicates that this él is a personal, the subject pronoun him, he. If we omit the tilde, it's, it's actually the definite article, the the. Okay, T H E, the. So, he plays well, él juega bien. But we usually do not say nor write the subject pronoun because it's unnecessary, okay? We would just say, juega bien. Does he play well? Or, y juega bien. We would have perhaps the word and. Y juega bien. And, does he play well? Or we can also ask like this, how does he play? To ask how does he play, we need one of the question words, right? How does he play? The question word is how. In Spanish, the question word for how is como. Remember that in Spanish, all the question words, all the question words have a tilde, okay? Como juega. Como juega means how does he play, right? And we can say he plays very well. He plays very well. Él juega muy bien. Él juega muy bien. Or mi hermano juega muy bien. My brother plays very well. 
Because he is very fast. Porque, again we can, but we do not need to, to include the, the subject pronoun him, he again. Porque él corre muy rápido. Porque él corre muy rápido. Or just porque corre muy rápido. Because he runs very fast. Or simply porque es muy rápido. Porque es muy rápido. Because he is very fast. Okay? See that porque means because the word for why is por que two different words and as I told you all the question words in Spanish have a tilde somewhere okay por que why here we have a tilde okay the answer because is porque just one word altogether and no tilde okay okay so here we end our lesson for today remember if you have any questions you can send them to me I'd be pleased to answer and thanks for watching. Goodbye.